everybody, this is Erin. I am back to teach you how to make some pretty practical and very durable labels for your organizational projects. So I'm not going on a card or anything. As you can see here, I had them labeling some lockers that I have in my entryway. Just a great way to use your stamps and your dies for a more practical use and make sure they're practical because if these were made out of paper, they'd be falling apart. And these are actually laminated with contact paper and I'll show you how to do that. Here's just the labels close up with some magnets on the back. A little close up for you. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. Now this works with all the matte stack and matte stack layer dies. And there is five sets. And this is key because uh, you want that contact paper to overlap the paper. Right, I'm just checking to make sure I have the right die. I want to cut the regular size matte stack out of paper and this is going to be the middle of my sandwich using aquamus paper here run it through you guys are going to have to excuse my heavy breathing very pregnant here <laughs> can hardly catch my breath so I'm sorry about that okay now we're going to use contact paper and this is something you get at Walmart where they have like the shelf liners big roll of it for like four bucks actually bought it for something for the kids and ended up using it on a project like this. I was thrilled with myself. So you have to make sure you have the larger matte stack layers die. You might just want to double check. And you're going to cut two out of the contact paper. Number one, that's the first pass. And it's just going to snap right on out of here. And here we go, number two. You're gonna obviously have to cut down your rolls and I try to get two cuts per sheet I have cut down because you actually need two. Okay, we're gonna put this aside for now and get down to some stamping. It's really not about all stamping, isn't it? It's about 75% <laughs> prep for everything else. All right, this is a self-adhesive label sheet that's been cut down and printed on the front with the word library because I have a library locker. That's what I need organized. And this is a matte stack one stamp that I'm going to ink up in Ocean Tides. Now, I decided to use the self-adhesive labels, which I use all the time. This stuff is great. You really need to get some because it's so thin. I don't want any bulk to these essentially laminated labels. And added bonus, it's already adhesive on the back, sticky. You can look through the clear stamp, make sure that word library or whatever is perfectly centered, and push down. This is background basics gingham. These are pretty impractical labels, so I wanted to add a little flare to the middle instead of leaving it just white. I use background basics gingham on a lot of my videos, if you've noticed. Careful to line it up. Really kind of sloppy, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to actually cut out that middle label. I don't care about the rest. Now this is our original smaller size matte stack one and aqua mist cardstock. This is our actual physical label. We're going to stamp that stamp again in Ocean Tides. And there you go. And that's it with our stamping. I told you there's not a lot. It's all about all the extra stuff. We're going to bring back the self-adhesive sheet image again and cut out the middle, being careful around those corners. Trim it as close as you can get. So spoiled with the dyes. I don't want to do any fussy cutting anymore. 
It's almost like the last resort I go and do this. But I, this is an easy shape to cut out, so we went ahead and did it. So if you're like me, you have no fingernails because you're a crafter. And things like getting backing off sticker labels are kind of tough. But eventually, you do get it. All right, so go ahead, go ahead and lay it on your stamp so it lines up nice and perfectly. Kind of bummed. I created this bubble accidentally, but uh, I can rub it out with my finger. I'm going to lift up the edge, fix it a little bit more. And once we have the contact paper on, I can fix this a little bit more. So you'll see that later on. Bust out your contact paper. Take the lining off one piece and lay it sticky side up. We're going to make our little label sandwich. Adhere your paper label to the middle, leaving an edge of contact paper all the way around. There you go. I was hoping it would show up better on the white sheet. I'm not sure it did. But there's a nice edge of sticky contact paper all the way around. Now get your second piece, and it's going to go sticky side down overlapping and hopefully lining up with the contact paper on the bottom creating a nice sealed laminated edge and this is what makes it so dur durable it's going to uh, hold up to some wear and tear with some of your organizational projects smooth it out I'm going to get a popsicle stick get out all the air bubbles fix that little bubble I made in that white label can't tell Here's proof I've reused my cardstock. There's something labeled on the back, but it's the back, so you know, who cares? Hot glue a magnet on the back. Would also work with clothespins. That's another idea. And there you go. Easy peasy. All done. Here's a grouping for you on the lockers. You can see how pretty they look and practical, right? And here's the shot of my lockers coming up. Now I actually have like I think 18 lockers and I only did four labels and I think I'm going to do the rest because I really like how it looks. So next time you have an organizational project either in your craft room or somewhere else in your house or maybe at work, bust out your dies and stamps and contact paper, who knew, and laminate yourself some pretty impractical labels to add a little home decor stamp flair to any of your projects. Okay, thanks for joining me. Now get back to Stamp Affair and uh, learn some more. All right, I'll catch you around. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.